Prior to the game with Southampton, a minute's silence was impeccably observed for the late Tommy Lawton. He succeeded Dixie Dean, the only man of his generation who could. Everton midfield closing down as Parkinson launches in. Barrett's header. Speed. Good control. Now Barnaby gets things moving. Kanchelski's pointing to where he wants it. He doesn't make it, but Stewart does. 12 minutes gone, and Graham Stewart gives Everton the lead. A swift move after some pretty tigerish tackling midfield. The approach play of Barnaby, beautiful pass, and Stewart finishes it off. And Underworth and Watson combined to uh, clear the ball. Use the back door in the end. And it's two on one in favour of Everton. Grant, who started the move in his own penalty area, to Stewart. And Chelsea, yes! Well, Andre Kanchelskis suggests to the Everton fans that it's so easy, but it was a move which started back in their own six-yard box, really. And Kanchelskis picked the spot with his trusty left boot. Tony Grant putting the ball out is becoming a pretty authoritative figure in that Edmonton midfield. Count to Chris Woods, who's just happy to get the ball as far away from the Southampton goal as possible. Now speed. Yep, it's three. Half an hour gone, and Everton are in cruise control. There's a little delay as Graham Stewart got onside. And speed made up ground. Grant. The Southampton defence is... Pretty dishevelled, Kanchelskis, Barnby, it's a fourth, and I think Gary Speed is claiming that one. Barnby played it in, and Speed just deflected it goalwards. Hanscliffe takes the throwing quickly, good cross from him as well. Stuart ducks, and it's scrambled in for yet another Everton goal, a rare Andrei Kanchelskis header. England full back, and they got a telling cross. There was a good shout from Kanchelskis for Stewart to get out of the way. Kanchelskis saws his second goal of the game. The Southampton are going forwards looking for a consolation. Oh, they've got one. Egil Ostenstadt. Yeah, when they're so far behind, there's no room for celebration. Well, it appears to be running out, but every roll of the ball is going Everton's way. Stewart. And Hoyble Kurz. Suggestion of handball. Referee gives Everton the advantage. Kanchelskis. Goalkeeper slips. And Barbie makes him pay. Nicky Barnby's first goal for Everton. It's really bullying tactics now from the Blues. The Everton goal scorer, Time walking overtime, announcing the scorer's names today. And Woods finally makes a save. Barrett. Of course, on a hat trick, but assisting this time. Stewart! The man who started the scoring off. Hitchcliffe curls it in, Woods lost it, and Speed is there. His first ever hat trick in senior football.
Goodison Park rises to applaud their heroes, a 7-1 hammering. Everton's biggest winning margin under Joe Royal's management and Gary Speed's first ever hat-trick. Is it actually difficult to get hold of the match ball once you scored out? I mean, do you go looking for it to make sure that no one sort of runs off with it? I, or I didn't know I scored a hat trick before, so. Uh, but this one, it was only until about 10 minutes to go when I thought I can get a hat trick here. You know, it was, it was, it was that late. And then, then uh, as soon as the final whistle went, uh, the ref was right next to me and I shook hands with him, so. And he had the ball, so. Just grabbed it off him. I know that a lot of people felt that Nick Barnby had a lot to do with this. You know, he certainly gave us. Uh, a lot of control in little areas around their box. Andre was at it, everybody was at it on the day. And I thought Graham Stewart also, you know, often an unsung hero here, did very well. But I don't think we had, I don't think we had a, a weakness from 1 to 11 on the day. The original 